And sure, students are out of school, most of them at least, for the coming week. But we always worry about how they're doing. Bullying, of course, is an ongoing concern. But so are other abusive behaviors like alcohol and drug abuse. We want you to meet Ken Bartolo, who has been there, and he's back. And now he talks to students about this issue. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. See you, Laura. Um, you have a history. You were an athlete at yeah. one point. Yeah, yeah. I, all throughout my career, I was an incredible success in high school. Played two sports in college and then played professional lacrosse. Um, but all the while, addiction was taking away everything that I had slowly. Yeah, and uh, at one point you realize, oh my gosh, what have I done? Yeah, you know, it took 27 years, but, <laughs> you know, finally I just hit a point where I reached out and I asked for help and, and, and other people were able to help me to turn my life around. And what you're trying to do now is to turn that around and pay it forward essentially with young yeah, you people. You know, try and turn a negative into a positive. You know, I went through all that and if I can stop one kid and their family from going through what I went through, then it's worth it. And you're going to schools talking about this. Yeah, we traveled to, all over the state. We were in New York City last week. We went to Herkimer Community College this week, uh, high schools, colleges, universities. And uh, we, you know, used, it was just athletes, but now we speak to the whole student bodies and whoever they want. And, and what is the message? I mean, obviously you say, no, don't do it. But, but how do you send that message so that 16, 17, 18-year-olds and younger get it? Yeah, um, you know, I was the last kid you would ever think. You know, I was big, tall, popular, good athlete, all that kind of stuff. And you would think that kid's not going to be the addict, you know, and, and it can be. It can be any one of them, you know. So I start out with, with that kind of thing and then go to, you know, how one of anything can lead to a lifetime of, of tragedy. And that's you know? the thing. It is sometimes just one experimental dose yeah. and that can mess you up forever yeah I, you know i did one line of cocaine i swore it would be a one-time deal you know and it took me ten dollars ten years to put that dollar bill down and then mm -hmm. 25 years of addiction you know and i swore it'd be a one-time deal it, can you say this all by yourself or are you part of a chorus essentially of you know be careful don't do it look at what could happen can I say it by myself? Yeah, I mean, is it just you who can send that message, or does it take other people, too, to keep reinforcing the message? I, you know, I'm, I'm our only speaker, but I have a support staff of incredible people, you know, and, and they, they contribute to the, to the presentation. But, you know, I, I go up and I just tell my story. You know, a lot of professional athletes or former professional athletes have struggled with addiction. And, you know, the, the stigmatism is, you know, it's the guy under the bridge or yeah. it's, yeah. you know, the guy with the paper bag. It's not. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of people in recovery, and it's doctors, lawyers, nurses, you know, professional athletes, people like that. And um, I think until the stigmatism is removed, people will be less willing to come forward and say, I have a problem. Okay, well, thank you for talking to us today. <laughs> sure. And thank you for what you're doing, too. No um, if you want to hear more, um, Ken does have a website, and uh, you're welcome to check it out. As we say, he does speak to young people at area schools. Um, there is the website, Ken Bartolo, there and back.com.